we have got another red dot plate from Beretta for the Beretta APX A1 Tactical. And if you've been watching the channel, you're probably like, well, you just bought one for Trigicon because you put the Gideon Optics Omega on that gun. Well, I uh, went out and did the review, and as much as I love the Gideon Optics Omega on my Canik TP9 SFX, I don't really like it on the Beretta. So what I've got here now is another plate. This is for the aim point footprint, so the Acro footprint so let's open this up and see what all we get so we've got the acro plate now if you watched my video when i did the gideon optics mediator review i ordered one of these plates from primary machine and it was not a double cut acro plate this one is so if you look, it's got the 45 degree angles on both sides. The one from Primary Machine is just flat on one side and cut in on the other. It does come with the two screws just like the RMR one did. And uh, that is the plate. That's what the bottom looks like. The top. You already saw this profile. So what I want to do... One of my favorite optics that I've reviewed this year, well, honestly, it's probably my favorite optic, is the Gideon Optics Mediator. I'm kind of having a hard time getting used to the Beretta APX A1 Tactical. And I've been shooting the Gideon Optics Mediator so much on the Taurus. I thought, let's put it on the Beretta because I love that optic. I love it on the Taurus, and I'm hoping I'm going to love it on the Beretta. So that's why I bought the Aimpoint plate. Now, I can't show you putting this on. Let me get it on the gun. I'll show you what it looks like. Then I'll get the optic mounted, and I'll show you what that looks like. And in the next video, we'll get it out to the range and test it out. All right, I want to show you what this looks like on the Beretta. So you've got these two circles coming up out of the slide. And if you look on your Beretta mounting plate, you have those two. Now, I'm going to say one thing. I had the RMR plate on this. I did use blue Loctite, and I did use my heat gun. I heated up the screws, and I still ended up having to drill both of them out. So keep that in mind. The screws that Beretta gives you for this, is uh, well, they suck. That's about all the best I can say about it. So not very impressed with the screws that they send you for their mounting plates. So just make sure if you go to take them back off and you use blue Loctite, use a lot of heat and get them good and hot before you try to remove them because or you're going to end up having to drill them out like I did. All right, so there's the plate mounted up. I did put blue Loctite on the screws and I did tighten these down to 18 inch pounds. That's what I put all my optics on, all my optic plates. I use 18 inch pounds. If you use less or you use more, you do you. I just know it works for me, and I've put a lot of optics on guns, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't care what you do. I'm going to keep using 18-inch pounds. Let me get the optic on, and I will show you what it looks like. All right, there it is. Now we have the Gideon Optics Mediator on the Beretta APX A1 Tactical. And I can tell you right now, I like this better already. I don't know what it was about the Omega on this. I just, I don't know what it was. I can't really tell you. I just didn't like it on this like I do on my Canik. And I thought, well, I love this Mediator so much on my Taurus G3 Tactical. Let's put it on the Beretta. All right, in the next video, we're going to take this back to the range. We're going to do another review on it. And by the end of that review, we will be well over 500 rounds on it. So it's going to be pretty much the 500 round review. And then eventually, we'll get enough ammo run through it that we'll get it up to the 1,000 round review. And uh, I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.